Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Anna and today we are watching the very first episode of Good Omens. I am so fucking excited for this series. I read the book earlier this year and let me tell you that it was really, really good, filled with humor and just the writing was really interesting and the concept itself is just like how, where did he get that you know what I mean for those of you who don't know this is Terry Pratchett and Neil Gaiman's book about an angel and a demon losing the Antichrist on earth <laughs> right from the start it is a really interesting and different, unique, creative concept and I am down for it. David Tennant is in this and a bunch of other well-known actors and actresses. So let's watch this and let's see how much more I can love it. Secondly, the Earth is a Libra. <laughs> After to understand the true significance of what happened six thousand years earlier, to be precise, you cannot tell me that just after the it beginning. doesn't hook you right away. It starts. Can I just say that I freaking love that the voice of God is a woman? That's cool as fuck. Crowley. Oh, mamma mia, mamma mia, mamma mia. I love Crowley. He's the life and soul of the story. Ciao. What's that mean? Look at his walk. It's Italian. Mother, you could make sure there are biscuits, the kind with pink icing. I think we had a tin in the convent larder. Jeez, I wonder who's gonna fuck it up here. Uh, good, good luck. Good luck. It may help to understand great triumphs and tragedies of history are caused not by people being fundamentally good or fundamentally bad, but by people being fundamentally people. That is just such an amazing quote. I love it. We're in room three. Room three, got it. There's a trick they do with three playing cards, which is... Sorry, all lines to London are currently busy. <laughs> he did that. He did that! <laughs> oh. It was really interesting how they kind of put a little bit of explanation and then the sequence and the explanation and the sequence so it doesn't feel like a huge info dump during the whole ordeal. That was really good. Really well done. I really liked it. But I'm, I'm biased on this because I loved the book. It's turning into bully boo. Bully boo. What? Too bad. Someone made sure that I failed. Their friendship is just so interesting. And the way they talk about like good and evil and heaven and hell and like God and the, the great planet and celestial beings and just like eternity and all of that so casually I love it. Well I'll be damned. <laughs> it's not that bad when you get used to it. <laughs> Last one any of them will have a hand, mine. It's late. <gasps> Comes to putting it up your sleeve. No. An angel. The hellhound. That was actually really cool. And there was that. I have to say that this has been hands down one of the best adaptations from book to either like a series or a movie. This was done really fucking well. The script is amazing. A lot of it, especially the dialogue and the narration, comes 
straight from the book. Those are lines straight from the book. Since the book is really fucking amazing, no wonder the show sticking so much so closely to the book is getting amazing too. Can we also point out that David Tennant had sunglasses for a big part of the episode and his acting was impeccable even with the sunglasses on since like a lot of the emotion and the feelings come from the eyebrows and the, the eyes. It was really impressive how he could put it together even with sunglasses the majority of the time. That was really cool but again it's David Tennant, he's the best and John Hamm beautiful as always and you know everything was amazing, everything was really good. I think like I am again I'm very biased but I think they did a very good job trapping and engaging the audience in this first episode. They kind of laid down everything uh, a little bit rushed but well done overall to have like the ground to take it more slowly in the next episodes. It is a mini series. It is fully and completely out. If you want to go and watch it, it is all out the six episodes on Amazon Prime. This is not sponsored, but I really love this show and I would like more people to watch it because it is really good. One thing that I really loved in the book itself uh, was when the hound finds Adam and Adam starts describing the his ideal dog. The more he describes it, immediately the dog starts like shrinking and have that floppy ear and like getting that little cute tail and you know like all of that. It would have been a little bit more cool to have that like the sequences as Adam says a quality, the dog just starts shrinking and just like have all that appearance more than just suddenly becoming this small, cute, amazing dog running in slow motion. The slow motion was really good, I'm not complaining. The dog is really cute, I'm not complaining about the dog, I am never complaining about the dogs. That's just like the only thing that I would change really. Everything else was just so good, so amazing, so like the part that I love the most is the chats, the chats between uh, Arisa Fell and Crowley. They always make me just like, huh, you know, like, that's a good point, or just like, I don't know, I really love them, I really love, they, they make you laugh, and they also kind of make you think, and they are amusing, and it's a good script, and just like, good pacing, and I think you see where I'm going with this, it's amazing, go watch it. Like, if you watch this, and you like it, and you like me watching and reacting to this series, just like, comment down below, and I'll keep doing it. I'm definitely gonna finish the series anyway, so I might as well do it with you. So thank you very much guys for watching this alongside with me. Have an amazing day and I will see you around.